Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating a new cathedral arched window design and a set of coordinating candle holders. Now this window is a two door design and is lined with wire for that unique farmhouse look. As a bonus, the candle holder design is reversible and can hold candles on one side and decorative greenery or florals on the other. These projects are super easy to make and all use items that can be purchased from the Dollar Tree. Now I have provided a list of supplies and tools used to make these projects in the description box below. I am so excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my amazing subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's get ready to jump into those projects. Now the first project will be a two-piece set of reversible candle holders. Now for this project, we will need a package of these mini St. Patrick's pots, two of these silver bowls, and two of these mason jar lids. Now the first thing we want to do is remove the pots from the packaging and carefully cut off the handles that come on them. And then we're going to grab two of these silver bowls. Now we will be adhering the pots to the bottom of the silver bowl as shown here. We'll use three pots on one and two pots on the other. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some E6000 adhesive and I want to apply it to the bottom of the bowl. And then I'm going to follow up with some hot glue for that instant hold. Now we're going to apply that first pot with the bottom side down. Now once that is applied, we're going to go ahead and add E6000 and hot glue to the top of that pot. And then we're going to place another pot on top with the open sides together and we want to make sure we align the seams and the handles that are on the pots. And then we want to apply that third pot on top with the bottoms together. Now here's what it looks like so far. Now you want to go ahead and grab your mason jar ring and we're going to apply some E6000 and hot glue around that inside ring. And then we're going to place that insert inside and press it into place. Now once adhered, we're going to add that mason jar ring on top of our candle holder stack with our glue combination. And now we're just going to repeat this with the second set, only using the two pots. And here are both fully assembled and ready to paint. Now I took these outside and applied three light coats of this flat white spray paint, making sure to let it dry 10 minutes between each coat. And once they're dry, we can start adding some distressing. Now I will be using this white acrylic paint, some of this gray pavement color acrylic paint, and this nutmeg brown acrylic paint to do this. So what I'm going to do is blend that brown and gray to make a darker brown and I want to apply it to both candle holders in a random pattern. And then I'm going to blend that gray and that white, tap off that excess and I want to dry brush that color onto the candle holder. Then what you want to do is just continue to mix and blend all three colors until you get your desired look and then let them completely dry. And here are my finished candle holders. I really love how these turned out. You just add your candle, some green on top, and this completes the candle holder look. Another great thing is that you can flip these over, you can add some greenery inside the bowl, and it looks fabulous. I love how these are good for a dual purpose. 
Now project number two is a two piece arched window design. Now for this project, we will need two foam boards from the Dollar Tree and two of these waste baskets from the Dollar Tree. Now to make the window, you wanna print out the template provided in the description box below. The pieces are numbered for easy assembly. Now to put them together, just line up the outline of the frames by folding or cutting off those white ends and then taping them together as shown here. Now once all taped together, we wanna to flip that template over and we wanna apply tape along the seam to make sure it's all secured in place. So now I'm gonna cut off that excess paper along that straight edge of the window frame. So now I'm gonna lay out my foam board and I wanna place that template down with that straight edge aligning to the edge of that foam board. Now I'm also going to fold in that white edge at the bottom of piece four and align it to the bottom of the frame with the edge of the board as well. Once in place, just secure it with some painter's tape. Now to transfer the design onto the board, I will be using the embossing tool that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, or you can use the end of a pen or pencil if you like. And all you're going to do is go over the entire outline of the flame, gently tracing it so that indention is transferred to the foam board. So once you have it completely traced, remove your template, and then we're gonna flip that foam board over and repeat this on the opposite side. Now two frames can be made on one piece of foam board. Now I wanted to say a quick thank you to Minecraft by Sabrina for converting my window designs into a printer friendly version, as well as providing the SVGs for those who have cutting machines. Please be sure to check her out and let her know that I sent you. The link to her is in the description box below. So now with the indentions traced, we're just going to trace over with a pencil and I'm just gonna mark all the corners and put tick marks on there as cutting guides and then lay out my mat and get ready to cut it. I'm gonna grab my straight edge and an X-Acto knife. You wanna make sure it has a fresh blade and this will make sure you get a super smooth cut. And then you're just gonna align your straight edge with the marks that you made and cut out the entire frame. So then you can remove all your window inserts and making sure the edges are nice and trim. And then all you have to do after that is you can use a nail file or sandpaper to smooth out any jagged edges that you may have. And then you just wanna repeat this cutting process with the second frame. Now I will be using the same acrylic paint combination to distress the frame. Now you wanna start by um, adding those random brown accents all over both of the frames. And then you wanna mix and blend some of that gray and white, making sure you dab off that excess and then dry brush it onto the frame as well. Now, after you complete this step, you wanna make sure that you wash your brush and then we're gonna do a dry brushing of the white acrylic paint all over and this will blend in all of your distressing. And then just, we wanna let these dry. Okay, so I originally planned to make this into a mirror and I wanted to use this peel and stick mirror paper that I purchased from Amazon. So I applied the paper to a new piece of foam board and I removed that plastic covering and I wasn't super impressed with this clarity, but I figured let me go ahead, apply the frames and maybe it'll look better once everything came together. So what I did was hot glue the frames on and then I went ahead and cut them out with my X-Acto knife.
All right, so here they are all cut out. I just was not happy with this look. So I went ahead and I removed the mirror panes by cutting them out with my X-Acto knife. And after cutting them out, I just filed all my edges smooth. So now we have our double layer frames to start with. I thought I could try incorporating the garden fence into this, but it was just a few inches too short. Now that's when I decided to go with a wire look and I didn't have enough of the Dollar General grill toppers to do this with, but I did have two of these white waste baskets that I had in my craft stash. So I started by cutting off the bottom of the waste basket with wire clippers. And then I went ahead and cut off that top ring as well. So then what we want to do is locate the seam of the basket and we want to cut up that seam. So now once it's cut, we want to stretch and even out that wire basket, making it as flat as possible. And then we want to take one of our frames and we want to make sure that our stretched basket will fit. And then once we determine that, we're going to apply the wire to the back of our frame with hot glue. Now I found that using a piece of parchment paper to press the wire into the glue was very helpful. Just be careful because the hot glue can be very hot. And we just wanna repeat this all the way around the frame until done. Now, as you can see, a heavy duty pair of scissors will cut the wire as well. So when you go to trim your edges, you can also use this option. So now I wanted to apply handles to my windows and I printed these out on cardstock. Now you can use real handles if you like as well. Now I'm going to include the template for the handles I used in the description box below. Now we're just gonna proceed with carefully cutting these out. Now once they're both cut out, we simply just hot glue these into place and you are done. And there you go. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so happy with the way that this turned out. I just love how the distressed wood looks on this piece and it perfectly pairs with the wire backing. And those handles, oh my goodness, don't they look realistic? I think I made a good choice by going with the wire on this one. Let me know in the comments if you are team wire or team mirror. Listen, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Craft DEE on Facebook for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you all next time.